being homeless is really difficult. Everybody looks at you as if you're doing something wrong. It's not our fault from being homeless, you know. It's been the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Hello, my name's Andrew from Cornerstone. Um, my company is funded by the Caffili Borough Council Supporting People Fund to work with those who are rough sleeping or sofa surfing or at risk of homelessness. We're working closely with Caffili Borough Council homeless team who help us raise funds and access housing. Now that could be social housing like councils or housing associations or more often than not now, the private rented sector, talking to landlords to offer their properties to those who are currently sleeping rough and get them off the streets. The difficulty is, is getting funding for those types of properties. Often, private rental properties, we need to raise a first month's rent in advance, a bond of the equivalent of a month's rent, and also an administration fee. The average, that we look to raise is about a thousand pound for an individual. Now obviously when people are sleeping rough and struggling, they're not going to have access to that type of money. So we work very closely with the homeless team to raise those funds and get people housed. We've received a number of calls again uh, regarding homeless activity here under Charteris Bridge. Um, there have been a large group of people. It was uh, a centre where people used to congregate during the daytime and then we realised they were actually sleeping rough here. Uh, so yes, we've had another couple of calls. Uh, so we're going to see now uh, if the calls are accurate to see if people are actually currently staying under the bridge. We're under the Charteris Bridge and as you can see uh, there's no current activity here, uh, however in the summer there were up to 17 people on any given night sleeping in this area. Um, it's now been cleared, uh, we did a lot of work in the area, uh, joined up effort with the local police, the local housing and we managed to get the majority of them housed. There are still others in the area that we need to do some work with but currently we're struggling to locate them. So I've had a couple of calls this week about um, some rough sleepers reportedly sleeping on Caffili Mountain. So I've come up here today to see if I can catch up with any of the guys who are sleeping here. Um, there were five or six up in this area um, in the summer, but we got them housed, but apparently there's a couple more. So as you can see, it's difficult to tell at times whether people are uh, rough sleeping or whether it's young people just out camping uh, for the night as you can see by some of the stuff that's thrown around. So we'll walk further into the woods now and see if they were there where they were before in the, in the summer. Hello, is anyone around? Anyone sleeping out? And you were looking for help with their housing at all. It's Andrew. Hello. It's quite a well established encampment, this one, that I think a number of rough sleepers have used over a period of time. Um, so it is hard to tell whether this is still a live encampment with people sleeping rough or whether or not people have been moved and no longer use it, but there is a lot of gear here. So that says to me that it's not completely abandoned. 
I think the best time to sort of catch this, uh, catch people here would be sort of morning time, sort of six o'clock or evening time because people tend to sort of uh, leave their camp during the day and try and go and find some food or shelter, perhaps a, a shower or change of clothes. But the difficulty is with the location and the risk factor, it's very difficult to sort of uh, be up here when people are likely to be around. Today we're stood in a place that one of our rough sleepers, Dennis, uh, called home for 18 months to two years. Uh, Dennis has been rough sleeping for a couple of years um, and despite efforts by services, including my team, offering him temporary accommodation or looking to get him housed, Dennis was somebody who chose to sleep on the street. Um, the community were great with him, there was great support, they'd often bring him food or drink. Um, there was real compassion shown by the local community. Unfortunately, on New Year's Eve, Dennis passed away. Homelessness is a serious issue within South Wales and it's a problem that is different each area you go to. Caerphilly Borough historically hasn't had a recognised street homeless problem so therefore there is no provision to house people either temporarily straight from the street if there's no housing duty. The difficulty now is that due to benefit changes the landscape of homelessness is shifting quite dramatically and we're getting more and more people through who are working, families, all affected by bedroom tax and different tax credit systems. The individuals currently in Night Shelter tend to be young men between the ages of 20 and 45. There are very few services out there directly aimed at this age group. We need to look to do more to deliver services to ensure that those who need it most, those most vulnerable on our streets, can access housing, be it social housing or private rental. Caerphilly Borough's issue of homelessness is slightly different. The price of private rental properties is very high. It can be higher than the city's Cardiff Newport, certainly pont a And the difference being is those areas have universities, student population. So with a mass of one-bedroom shared properties that students can access, once term time starts, People who are homeless can then access those properties because the landlords want them full. Unfortunately in Caerphilly we don't have that student population. So the properties available are far more scarce. My name is Luke, I'm 23 and I'm from Caerphilly originally, but I lived in Bargain. I found myself homeless because of unforeseen circumstances. Lost my flat on the 15th of November. Well, being homeless is really difficult. Uh, everybody looks at you as if you're doing something wrong. It's not our fault from being homeless, you know. But it's been the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Doing it on my own as well. With no help from anyone. My mum has helped me as much as she could, but not as much as I would like, you know. But I usually sit under the bridge by Morrison's in Bargard. Or just walk up half all the time, so I'm out of the way of everyone. The hardest part is not having nothing to do throughout the day or nowhere to go because you're just out in the cold and the rain all the time. I got in contact with Andrew when I first became homeless. I went to the council and they got me in touch with Andrew. I had to fill in the form and then there he was to help me. Andrew's got me into night shelters where they give you a bed for the night and make you dinner. And he's also helped me with my housing. I should be having an in well, I should be moving in very soon. Caerphilly Church's night shelter work closely with us as well, and it's on a rotor basis a different church every evening. 
and what we do is we make sure those sleeping ref can access it by providing support to access the churches. It's very much set up to remove the barriers for people who are sleeping ref, who are perhaps often just fed up of services and fed up of trying to access and not knowing what support's out there. So we're very much about removing those barriers and taking the support out into the community. We all have a shared passion for working with those sleeping ref and it very much comes across in the work that we do and proudly last year we housed 30 people through the Caffili Church's night shelter service. My name is Sue Phillips, I'm the minister here at the Evening Baptist Church. We've been running the night shelter scheme for the last three years. This is our fourth season. It started out as a pilot project with three churches in 2013 and now we're running with 11 churches and we're covering four months. Um, we're simply here to provide hospitality, a hot meal, an overnight stay and breakfast for um, all the guests that come in and uh, we can house up to eight people at the moment um, and we're just hoping the scheme will grow year on year. Uh, my name is David Francis, I'm a homeless officer based at Caffili County Borough Council. The volunteers at the churches have, have been instrumental in the, the success of this project. Um, last year we provided over 467 bed spaces, accommodating 17 different rough sleepers. Um, we've been very successful in the, the move on. Uh, we've got 12 of those 17 last year housed in secure tenancies. We're thankful for having funding off our supporting people team who have um, helped us employ a, a rough sleepers coordinator, Andrew Clark of Cornerstone Support Services. And he has additional two staff who obviously help out with the, the rough sleepers and the everyday support needs in the borough. Andrew Clark offers support, not, not just for housing, but across every, every need. You know, there's a lot of people with issues around benefits, um, health needs, um, and there's someone there to speak to as well. And, you know, it's, it's OK the church is temporarily housing these people through the winter months, but then, you, you know, we've got to move, move them on and meet their support needs, which we've been very successful in doing. Um, and like I said, the figures um, for, for last year, you know, to house pretty much most of the, the people who attended Night Shelter was absolutely fantastic and it's continued, continuing to grow from strength to strength. The Caffili Church Night Shelter has been a huge success um, and without the, the, obviously the help of the, the church coordinators uh, in each individual church, especially Sue Phillips at Elim, uh, Paul and Fryth, and the, the massive amount of volunteers we've had, without these guys this, this project wouldn't be what it is today. Uh, so a massive th obviously thank you to, to these people. proud and excited and I've got my new house. I'm looking forward to having my kids on the weekends and decorating this house and making it more homely. <laughs> if it wasn't for Andrew, you know, I wouldn't even have this place now. I'd still be in the night shelters or on the street. Yeah, thank you very much, Andrew. <laughs> Congratulations, Luke. Welcome to your new home. Good luck. Okay.